Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramalu. So today's topic is a longitudinal vibration in a bar, free at one end and fixed at other end. So here for this bar, one end is fixed and other end is free. So like this. So this end is fixed. So at a distance x equals zero. And this end is free at a distance x equals to L. That means from here to here length is L. That is the meaning of this. Okay, for this boundary conditions, what are they? Let me explain. For the bar fixed at one end and a free at other end, following boundary conditions are applied. For fixed C, y is equals 0 at x is equals to 0. And, and for free end, do y by do x is equal to 0 at x is equal to L. So, and a solution for uh, solution of longitudinal waves is uh, y is equal to a into e power of i omega t minus kx plus b into e power of i omega t plus kx. So, it is what? It is a general solution. So here first what we have to do first we have to apply the fixed end boundary conditions. So fixed end boundary conditions here see y is equals to 0 at x is equals to 0 that's it only. So that means y value is 0 x value is 0. So here y value is 0 and x value also 0. So next Here it is 0, it is 0, then e prof omega t, so e prof i omega t, i into e omega t. So take common exponential factor, then in the bracket is a plus b. So but it is not 0, then what simply a plus b is equal to 0, then b is equal to minus a. So substitute b is equal to minus a in the place, in the equation 1 in the place of b. So that means here, substitute minus a value then this is the equation and uh, now separate e power of i omega t um, into e power of minus i kx this is also e power of i omega t into e power of i kx and take the common factors so it is a common factor and these are the common factors so take an outside and then this is the and actually this uh, minus exponential has to present right side and a plus has to present left side so for this minus take outside yes minus is taken then this is this side and it is this side okay and divide and multiply with the 2i so 2i is multiplied and divided so then this gives a formula of sine kx so differentiating equation 2 with respect to so it is equation 2 now differentiating with the equation 2 with respect to x so that means if you have to apply the second BC, second BC, then we must differentiate it. So dou y by dou x is equal to, it's a differentiation. So this term is constant. Sin kx is cos kx into k. k into cos kx. Okay. So it is a differentiation of sin kx. And apply the second BC what do y by do x is equal to 0 at x is equal to l so that means in the place of x l and the, in this place 0 now 0 is equal to so here in the place of x l is substituted and we know so this term is not 0 then simply this term is 0 so it is not 0 it is 0 and at what value of kl in the cos is 0 so we know cos pi by 2 means cos 90 is 0 so it is substituted in the place of where in the place of kl so that means substitute kl is equals to pi by 2 then cos pi by 2 is 0 next cos 3 pi by 2 is 0 cos 5 pi by 2 is 0 cos 7 pi by 2 is 0 so that means simply we can write kl is equals to pi by 2 3 pi by 2 pi pi by 2 and in general like this now what happens these two are equal from this k is equals to v you know, this is omega by c and then 
here how we get this formula you know suppose if we substitute the n value 1 n value 1 2, in, 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1 is how much 1 1 into pi by 2 is simply pi by 2 next substitute 2 value here 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 is 3 3 into pi by 2 so 3 pi by 2 like this pi by 2 so that is the general formula okay and now omega value we know 2 pi f substitute omega value pi pi cancel and 2 goes that side so already by 2 is there so this by 2 is there so and this 2 this 2 gets not cancelled 2 into 2 becomes 4 only into c c value we know this is okay so this is a generalized formula this generalized formula substitute n value 1 f1 is equals to 2 into 1 my f1 is equals to 2 into 1 minus 1 by 4 becomes 1 by 4 l y by rho root so this is a fundamental frequency similarly if you substitute 2 value then it is 3 pi 4 l root y by rho and 3 by 4 l y by rho can be written as 3 f1 it is called first overtone okay it is called first overtone how we get what f2 is equals to what it is if you substitute here to f2 2 means in the place n is equals to so if you substitute n value 2 here 2 into 2 4 minus 1 3 3 by 4 l root y by rho so f2 is is equals to what f2 is equals to 3 into 1 by 4 l root y by rho 1 by 4 L root y by rho is what? F1. So F2 is equals to 3 F1. This is called first overtone. Next overtone is F3 is equals to 4 F1. Second overtone. Like this we get a lot of overtones. Okay friends. Bye.